In this video, I'll be teaching you the Kitchener stitch. As you can see, my stitches are divided and separated with a safety pin. Take your darning needle and insert it into the first stitch on the front needle as if to knit and then take it off the needle. And then into the second stitch as if to purl and leave that one on. Go to the back needle, into the first stitch as if to purl and take it off, and then as if to knit and leave that one on. Now come back to the front needle, slip as if to knit and take it off, slip as if to purl and leave that one on. Again to the back needle, slip as if to purl and take it off, slip as if to knit and leave that one on. Repeat this process working back and forth between the two needles until you reach the entire length of your project. And this is used for the toes of socks, for shoulders of sweaters, any place where you are attaching your knit stitches together. And the mantra that I use for my class, starting with the front needle, is slip as if to knit, take it off, slip as if to purl, and leave it on. On the back needle, slip as if to purl, take it off, and slip as if to knit and leave that one on. Sometimes saying that to yourself as you work each stitch helps you to remember the order in, in which you are executing this maneuver. I have a few more stitches here that I'm doing. And here is a little bit of the finished Kitchener. And as you can see, it is a perfect join of both edges. Now if your stitches look a little misshapen, either too loose or too tight, they can be adjusted by simply taking the tip of your darning needle into the offending stitch and pulling it up to tighten it, starting from the beginning of your edge and working to the end of your kitchenery, or in the reverse, to loosen them up if you've pulled them a little bit too tight, in which case you'd have to begin that process at where you ended your kitchener stitch and just loosen those stitches up a little bit so that they mimic your regular knit stitches. Have fun with this.